Hello, uh, welcome to the final round. Uh, sorry if the I'm not sure if the audit or the recording cut out earlier or not. So this might be a repeat, but uh, first couple of rounds of the turn were uh, pretty uneventful, and now we're here. So deciding if I want to exert and discard the island, I think the answer is no because then I can play Riddle Form and Scry, um, and I'm not going to attack. This keeps the Feral Prowler at bay. And it makes them have to pump the sand wallop if they want to attack. No attacks there is weird. Uh, yeah, we'll scry. We're probably we're keeping almost anything on top. Uh, maybe not basic island. Yeah, because we're bound to find more lands anyway. Three, four, five. Sure, we'll play our sixth land. This lets me scry twice every turn. Uh, still nothing I really want to discard, but the longer the game goes, the better that is for us, just because we're going to be scrying now twice every turn, and our creatures are just so much bigger. They could be getting in for one with the sand walla, but that's not their style. Uh, no swamps. I will take him. So I think I'm just gonna cycle this away? What am I looking for though? Not much. I mean their creatures are not very good. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast him. Pretty tough to block. So I'm not going to scry an upkeep because again, lands are good for us and spells are good for us. So we're we're in a pretty good position here. Our opponent's finally caught back up. Ooh, the Sphinx I, find, I made fun of so much. Yeah, so we can hit for four here. And then probably play the Sphinx. Well, our opponent just sacking to draw a card. Playing the Sphinx now. So I'm not really that worried about playing into my own board wipe. Um, because with this many creatures I need my opponent, like my opponent's gonna have to commit so much. Well, Ketra's Monument is the way to do it though. Yeah, one mana Gus Walker is very powerful. One mana Steward of Solidarity is very powerful. Okay, Evolving Wilds is fine. Uh, so I think I'm going to keep my creatures back. Um, this kind of incentivizes my opponent to really commit to the board. Um, at what point? At which point I can just play Hour of Devastation and just destroy everything. Yeah, Ornery Kudu. I think probably next turn I'm gonna have to pull the trigger because if they have like a white monument, I'm in real trouble. Um, but I guess I'll see. It depends. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a real good hour of devastation. How greedy do I want to get? <laughs> I don't think I can wait any longer, really. Um, so here we're going to get another mountain for our devastation. Uh, we're going to scry. We do not want to land. Scry again. A braid seems good. Okay, so here. 
think we we're gonna attack with just these two actually yeah I'm gonna attack so that it doesn't completely telegraph that I have a board nuke um, just the sphinx and the horror and I'll see how they block Okay, yeah, that's fine. So opponent taking four. Yeah, I think we have to pull the trigger here. So we're getting a four for six. Sure. <laughs> you can make a toker token. Uh no. So this kills everything and we have a braid up for any creatures they may play now. It's possible I should have waited another turn. Um, but now I can do some cool stuff like next turn a braid plus riddle form. Double sidewinder naga is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. So I think I'm gonna braid one of these now. And then next turn I'll have a final reward to kill the other one. Uh, yeah, we play the land. Pass turn. One, two, three, four, five. So, uh, yeah, I have enough to find a reward plus scry off riddle form. Okay, so now we final reward the Naga. And then we can block the token with riddle form. And now we're at a relatively stalled out board uh, where we're scrying at least twice every turn. Unless they do that. Uh, yeah, okay. We still have ways to deal with this. Countervailing wins. I don't think I really like that. Like, I can cycle it, but... I need a way to deal with the creatures on board right now. Okay, there's an island. So we have no cards in hand, we're taking six. One, two, three, one, two, three. I played the island so I could scry three times, because we really need to find action here. Um, Bantu's Last Reckoning looks particularly good. This will catch his monument. I, like, it almost would have been better just to abrade the monument away. No, no swamp. Scrounger of Souls. Uh, I guess that's okay. If they have removal, we're in big trouble. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but. This makes Throne of the God Pharaoh in later turns better, because then we can gain life. Okay, so they do not have the removal spell, we're only taking four a turn. Wander Death is perfect. So, Wander and Death, we get back Horror of the Broken Land and Ominous Sphinx. Um, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we can play one of those. I think I'm going to play the Sphinx. 
Uh, maybe I just hit with this lifelink guy first. Hmm. Hmm. No. Horror Sphinx. One, two, three. Riddle form, I will activate it and I will attack with it, yes. And we're just gonna play the Sphinx here because I will block the um, Angel of the God Pharaoh. I guess I'll attack with the Scrounger too. If they um, block weirdly. Well, let's see. I attack with the Scrounger and they block with these, and it dies, and they get to internalize. And then I cycle Horror of the Broken Lands. That's not so bad for us. Yeah. I might as well get in there. Huh. Yeah, you don't want to do that. That seems like the strangest of all the block options, but... Alright, so yeah, we gain some life here, and we have the secret horror of the Broken Land cycling up to trade with their angel. Ooh, that's a really good card. Okay, yeah, we need a way to deal with that. Saving Grace is... Huh. Hopefully they attack here. Yes, perfect. Make your guy smaller. Trade. Actually, not even trade, just eat his guy. Maybe cycle or discard a card. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> so their worm has trample. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventy-nine. Okay, so I can play strategic planning. Make riddle form a creature. Um four. Five, six, seven, eight. So that's not enough to kill Sifter Worm. I think I'm gonna put him in the graveyard and just take a mountain or an island here. Um, the reason I'm doing that is that I can get it back with God of Earth's gift anyway. So we can hit for seven in the air. I guess I'm just gonna get back this wildfire eternal. He's mostly just gonna be chump blocking though. Actually, they do plus O plus three. That's what they're drawing next turn for sure. And I have so that makes them 10, and I have exactly 4 plus 4 is 8, so I have 11. So I can just triple block their Sifter Worm, 
if they attack. So Huh. Or I could take seven and do that next turn. Okay, I gotta make sure this gives plus O plus three. If a damage will be dealt to you, it's dealt to that creature. So I just keep these back and I trouble block the sifter worm. Yeah, that seems good actually. Four seven. Although if he attacks No, we're gonna do this, because I can actually attack with the Sphinx next turn too. Yeah, because this is enough to kill the ten the seven ten worm. Because four plus four is eight plus three is eleven. So if he attacks with the worm I can kill it, and then I can just get my creatures back. Yeah, so that's really good. And this only has the effect this turn, okay. I'm gonna scry well, at least once and I'll keep. Put this on the bottom. I can scry again. Put this on the bottom. Wow, that's a lot of lands. Okay, so I'm gonna hit with the Sphinx. We're gonna get back Battlefield Scavenger. Uh, keep the land in hand. Just to let, not, like, so they don't know exactly what I have. Because I have a huge advantage knowing this is the card they have. And I know they just drew a land, so... Who is this? Okay, yeah, you can get him back, sure. So we get another scry. We're, like, pretty much out of lands. Yeah, this is what we wanted. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 79. Haha! <laughs> the 10th land. When saving all damage that we dealt this turn is dealt to enchanted creature instead. So, riddle form is not lethal here. Is that right? That only hits for 7, so I'm gonna hit for 4 with the Sphinx. Uh. Yeah, we'll get Horror of the Broken Lands back. Attack with the Sphinx. And the Wildfire Eternal. Because it's a flicked four. Yeah. Ooh, that's perfect. And then if they... They can't block the Sphinx, and if they block him, they take four. So I think we just have it. Because they're going to Saving Grace the Worm. Oh, sure. All damage that will be dealt to it is dealt to it. So this can't block this. Okay, that works. We don't want this to be a creature. I think that's just game now. Cool. Go to the sideboard. Uh, they're green white. Kind of aggressive. Green, white, kind of aggressive. The Sphinx was good here. Uh, definitely won me the game. I kind of like illusory wrappings. Um, they have like some really big creatures. And I think I'm gonna put that in for the Battlefield Scavenger. He's like fine but not amazing. Especially against like some really big green creatures or just token swarm.
So we're probably looking for a board wipe. Oh. <laughs> Uh Look, we didn't come here to not gamble. We have the so okay, here's my justification. We have the mana to cast both of our board wipes. Um with double black and double red. Um we have a cycling card to get us there faster. And having a lot of lands in our deck is pretty important. See? Look, we're good. Because um, we, we have some powerful, like, 4 and 5 mana plays. So, being mana flooded in this deck is a lot more important than, um... Being mana screwed. Is this on cast? Uh, I think I'm gonna cycle this counter spell. Ooh, paint caster is nice. So the paint caster allows us to take out a lot of these little tokens that the monument will make, and we can put the cartouche on it so we can gain a little bit of life back. Um, it just lets them, or makes them commit to the board more, so this reckoning will really just wipe the board. Yeah, stalwart is okay. Okay. Okay, loser wrappings is fine. We're gonna play cartouche. Keeping up a black, I guess. Um, cartouche, we're gonna shrink the warrior. Actually, no. Cartouche, we're gonna kill the steward. Yeah. Yeah, because we can always ping these warriors to death later. And now these creatures can't attack into the pain caster. Sure, so it's exerted. The, the cartouche pain caster has been pretty strong throughout these games. Regular attack with a stalwart, sure. So we take a bit. Sharpshooters makes a creature. We can puncture and blow that. So we kill the stalwart, we go up to 17. We can gain a life, puncturing blow the sharpshooter. Now we're in pretty good shape. So we take one, two, three, four, yes, yeah, so we take five, we still have a life linker. Okay, Gustwalker. They have a lot of little tokens, that's for sure. Strategic planning is really good. Uh, I'm going to keep open double red, I guess. Uh, yeah. I can cast any of my spells. I like the Sphinx here. So next turn we'll be casting the Sphinx. I guess I'm just gonna put the... wrappings... on... The Gustwalker. 
think it's the most dangerous card. Really just slowed down my opponent's attacks. Wow. End of turn Vizier. Did not attack or block. Attack for four, I gain one. I think I'm just gonna block. Uh, I'm gonna kill a creature to make it less obvious that I have a board nuke. exactly what I wanted. Wow. Who knew that uh, board wipes and limited were powerful? That's probably just game. But props to my opponent for not conceding. Now we get to land the Sphinx. When this is last stand, it's fine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, so we can play both. don't untap and then we can start scrying to our more powerful spells later on. Or we could just hit them. That works quite well. Man, this deck is beautiful. Also, thank you opponent for not conceding so we can play this uh, beautiful, beautiful deck. No! <laughs> right as I say that. Alright, well, uh, good games. Thanks for watching.